Boda Baub. Today for my assembly, I have got a clue for you. I wonder if you can guess if I show you these. Lots of shining, glowing candles. What my assembly might be about. Can you think of a festival to do with lights? Yes, my assembly is about Diwali. I'm just going to show, share my presentation with you. Diwali, the festival of lights. Facts about Diwali. Diwali is an important religious festival originating in India. People often think of Diwali as a Hindu festival, but it is also celebrated by Sikhs and Jains. Diwali takes place every year and lasts for five days, marking the start of the Hindu New Year. The exact dates change each year and are determined by the position of the moon, but it usually falls between October and November. This year, Diwali 2020 falls on Saturday, the 14th of November. The word Diwali or Deepavali, as it's sometimes called, means row of lights. In, in an ancient language of India called Sanskrit, during this festival, people decorate their homes with lights and oil lamps called diyas. These symbolize the triumph of light over darkness good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. For many people, Diwali honours the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi. The lights and lamps are said to help Lakshmi find her way into people's homes, bringing prosperity. It's also a celebration of good triumphing over evil and different legends based on this theme are associated with Diwali. In northern India, Hindus celebrate the return of the deities or gods, Rama and Sita, to the city of Ayodhya after defeating the evil king Ravana. You have a choice now whether you would like to listen to the video of the story of Rama and Sita, or I'm going to read it to you now. Once upon a time, there was a great warrior, Prince Rama, who had a beautiful wife named Sita. One day, Rama and Sita were banished from their home by the king. Ram Rama's brother, Lakshmana, joined them in exile. Living nearby was a terrible demon king, Ravana, he had 10 heads and 20 arms and was feared throughout the land. One day, Ravana kidnapped Sita and took her away in his chariot. Clever Sita left a trail of her jewellery for Rama to follow. Rama and Lakshmana followed the trail of glittering jewellery until they met the monkey king, Hanuman, who became their friend and agreed to help find Sita. Messages were sent all to all the monkeys in the world who set out to find Sita. After a very long search, Hanuman found Sita imprisoned on an island. The army of monkeys couldn't reach the island, so they began to build a bridge. Soon all the animals of the world, large and small, came to help. When the bridge was built, they rushed across it and fought a mighty battle. When Rama killed the evil Ravana with a magic arrow, the whole world rejoiced. Rama and Sita were reunited and they began their long journey back to their land and everybody lit lamps to guide them on their way and welcome them back. Ever since, people light lamps at Diwali to remember that light triumphs over dark and good triumphs over evil. In the region of Bengal, people worship the goddess Kali, the destroyer of evil forces during Diwali. 
and in Nepal, a country bordering northeast India, people celebrate Lord Krishna's victory over the wicked king Narakasura. But it's not just about life. Diwali is a time to have fun with friends and family. People exchange gifts and sweets, enjoy delicious fe feasts, watch firework displays and wear new clothes. It's a time to clean and decorate your home too. Rangoli is a popular Diwali tradition. Beautiful patterns are made using colourful powders and flowers. People draw rangoli on the floor by the entrance of their homes to welcome the gods and bring good luck. Today, this fascinating festival is celebrated by thousands of people in countries all around the world. During Diwali, Hindus living outside India gather at places of worship called mandirs to leave offerings to the deities or gods. They watch firework displays and eat yummy food together. The city of Leicester in the United Kingdom holds the largest Diwali celebrations outside of India. Every year, tens of thousands of people gather in the streets to enjoy vibrant shows of light, music and dancing. Now, if you pause this video just to show there are some videos I've chosen of families celebrating Diwali. Time to reflect. This year, Diwali will look very different due to the coronavirus, but it will not stop families celebrating at home and where they can with their families. Let's think about good overcoming evil. Let's think about all the good things people do every day to make the world a better place. Let's say our school prayer together. Diochi ti am I bid, diochi am I frindiai i Amen. Now, it's time for one of my favourite songs. I know most of you know the words to this, so you can either join in with me or you can pause the video again just uh, and use the link for the lyrics. This little light of mine. Thank you. 
That's one of my favourite songs. So I hope you enjoyed my assembly all about Diwali. And if you are celebrating Diwali on Saturday, happy Diwali. Dabochi everyone.